Hey everybody, so the word of the day is second chances are only given to those deserving. Those can be a person, a place, a thing, a situation, a relationship, whatever you choose to, like whatever you choose to give a second chance to. I'm going to repeat it again. Second chances are only given to those deserving. All right, let's hop into it. All right, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Um, yeah, I really don't say my name in the weeds. Yeah, but um, anyways, so I read Matthew chapter 21, and it's um, the subcategories were the triumphal entry, Jesus cleanses the temple. Jesus curses the fig tree, the authority of Jesus challenge, the parable of the two sons, the parable of the tenants, and that's it. So in so in chapter 21, it was more so, excuse me a second, there you go. Okay, so in chapter 21, it was more so talking about, okay. So in chapter 21, <laughs> it was more so talking about um, the different things that Jesus had done once he got to, I believe, with Galilee. I believe it was that. I believe it was that. Yeah, I, I believe it was that. But when once he got to the town that him and his followers had, had gotten to okay so and even though he went okay because he went out to now chapter 21 verse 17 so he um went into the temple right and drove out everybody that was like doing like the collectors and thing and people that just basically shouldn't have been in the temple Right. This is in verse 13. He said to them, it is written, my house should be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. OK, so like it's so crazy that this is what stuck out low key to me. Verse 13, because when I was growing up and in some of the churches and what I see now, um, it's like, I feel like that's what it is. It's like everybody just trying to get something out of somebody. Everything is tithe. Everything is donate, get this, give this, give this. It's like, give a word. You know what I'm saying? Like give inspiration, give motivation, give positivity, give sporadic moments of miracles. You know what I mean? Not saying in a Jesus way or in a godly way, but be of good faith, you know, and if you know, you will feel it. You know what I mean? You'll feel it when a pastor's preaching. You'll feel it when, for some people, when they're doing their um, choir, you know, they're singing. You'll feel it. You know, you'll feel it even when nobody's speaking. And just it's the vibe and the feeling and the energy that's in the temple, in the church, in the, you know, wherever you go. Like, you'll feel it. And I feel like, honestly, this is what's missing in a lot of churches and in a lot of temples and in a lot of places. The house of prayer. It's missing. Okay, like that's in. I think that's what everyone is afraid to admit. It's like everybody like, oh, God is not going to forgive you or God is a forgiving God this and that and this and that. everybody say and preach all of the same stuff but ain't nobody like it's a few selection that are being honest and vocal with a lot of these ministries and things like that are highway robbing not really preaching the word just trying to get shown and seen and all of this other crap and it's like 
Mm. Like no one wants to really be around that. It's crazy because that really stuck out to me. You see, I'm talking about it because re- it really stuck out to me. It just really made me re- like it reminded me of a childhood um, church I went to, and then it, like looking at the ministries even online, then looking at some of the pastors, and then looking at some of the churches like. I went to a church Sunday, like just looking at certain things and paying attention to certain stuff. You can just see it. Like my husband's just really trying to rob people. And then another one, when he got in the temple, they tried to like low key challenge him. Like, who is he? Like, how you going to ask him? Who is he? Who are you? This is verse 23 through 27. You can read that on your own. Where um, the chief priests and the elders of the people came up to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things and who gave you this authority? Now I'm going to leave your, your mind and your imagination there so that you can go ahead and go read it for yourself. But yes. They challenged them and asked them, who is he? Who are you to come in my temple to try to, yeah. And you just come up with what you think, what you think his answer was, right? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, don't, don't like in, like in the world now, in 2023, do not allow people to take from you time, energy, effort, whatever, if it doesn't feel right, then it doesn't feel right. Okay? And I'm only speaking when it comes to the temple, like when it comes to churches or synagogue, wherever you wherever you go. If it does not feel right when you enter the place, if it does not feel right when they're speaking, if it does not feel right when they're singing or when the music is playing, whatever the case, by all means, move around. Move around. Go somewhere where you're comfortable or fine. Like, you know, just do your own thing. Like, for me, for example, I just, you know, I read the Bible in my spare time. And now I've chosen to, you know, take it chapter by chapter and day by day with you guys and just kind of go over it like this. But, again, I was led to do it. So, I'm here. And... You guys can do it too. You can create your own ministry if you need. So it's all up to you. Take a chance. You know, you ain't got to be like the average, you know, you don't do this, you don't got that, you don't this, you don't this, like all that stuff. Like, no, just be you (laughs) and do your thing. All right? But I'll see you guys in another video. I'll be talking so much, I don't even be doing my cards, but... Yes, hey, it's only about the word, man. But um, if you guys like this message, please like, comment, subscribe, share. And thank you guys so much for vibing and chilling with me. And I'll see you guys in another video.